Hi, this is Bob. Uh, working on the uh, HW104 here now. And you know that the HW104 circuits, the circuit boards and all, are identical to the SB104 unit. So if you have an SB104, this will apply to you too. But the thing that I ran into was I was not getting enough microphone gain to use a dynamic microphone. Uh, the microphone I've got here is an Astatic 636L. I've got some really good reports with this microphone. It's an inexpensive microphone, often used by truckers because it cancels noise. And I like that because I've been down here on the rig and, and been picking up people that are like 15 feet away having a conversation. But with this microphone, I don't have that problem. This microphone has got very good audio and I got very good reports with it. Another thing I like about that microphone is that it was inexpensive. I think I paid $25 for it, postage paid on uh, eBay, and it's a brand new microphone, was in the package. So I really like it. Came with a four pin connector, which I've put a four pin connector into this HW104. I do that with the uh, HWs and the SB104s too, uh, just to get away from that two pin connector that is so hard to find and so expensive. Anyhow, here's what I did. I did something today, and boy, oh boy, did it work out good. Uh, what I did, I got to looking at the schematic here uh, on the HW104, which, like I say, this is the same board they use in the SB104. The only difference is on the SB104, there's another regulator here for the 5 volts for the digital circuits. And the HW104, you don't have it, but you notice there's still the holes in the board for it. Anyhow, what I did find out here is this is a 120K resistor here, and the audio has to go through this resistor from the microphone to the microphone preamp chip here. And this one here is a 22K resistor, it was, that went to ground. So the signal came in on pin 16, goes through the 22K and joins with 120K here. This one goes to ground. This one goes right over here to the audio preamp chip for the microphone. Okay, so I, th I looked at it and I thought, well, how can I raise that a little bit? So what I did, I just grabbed a couple of 47K resistors and I replaced both the 22K and the 120K with 47K resistors. Now I've been using this thing I made quite a few contacts with it, let's put it that way, since I changed those resistors. And it has worked beautifully and I've got really good reports and I have plenty of audio, which I didn't have before, with a dynamic microphone. These radios were made to use with a ceramic microphone, which is rather high output. But even if you find one of those these days, they usually don't have full output if they work at all. So then you've got a problem with that too. And if you get one that works really good, you get tinny sounding audio. This one here, which is a 636L, which is low impedance for transistorized circuits, gives you really good audio. Now here's the two parts. I, I just drew this up. This is the same as in the schematic diagram. And you see here, here's what the original is, 120K with a 22K to ground off of pin 16 on the B board, Baker board, which is your audio board. And this is IC201. You just change both of these to 47K resistors, you will see a considerable increase in the audio. Now I've got in here now the uh, I've got the original circuit board with the original resistors. This circuit board has not been modified. I'm taking the camera off of the stand. There we go. And showing you the bird watt meter. Now I'm going to turn this microphone gain control. I got the microphone gain control up all the way. Testing one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Ah. Uh, so I'm getting what, about, uh, uh, about a 30 watt indication on the meter there while I'm uh, saying ah. Uh. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to pull this board out. So I'll set the camera there for just a second. I'm going to pull that B board out. Turn the power off. Out comes the B board with the original resistors. 
Now, this is a, a, a spare a B board with the two 47K resistors in, just like I showed you. Snap it in place. There we go. Now, I'm not going to open that control up full. I've got it about three quarters because it just has actually too much. So I got it about three quarters now on the audio control for the microphone. What do they call that? It just says mic CW level there. Okay, here we go. Uh, 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 one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I have checked that signal with the SB610 monitor scope. It's back in here. I, I'd have to move this stuff out of the way. But it's got a really good signal. Uh, nice and clean. I've gotten good reports and I thought this is significant. I want to show the guys this. Uh, that First of all, I did a lot of, lot of testing of different microphones. So I wanted to show you this microphone and how well it works. And then I also wanted to show you how to change those two resistors on the board. And that would be real easy to change it back. If you don't think it's working properly or something and you want to change it back or get an original microphone you want to use, change it back. It's so easy. Just take the boards out. Really nice on these uh, HW104 and SB104 rigs how you can take those out. You might wonder what this is. That indicates that the, uh, there's a little uh, power pack little wall wart power pack I've got connected and that shows that it's plugged in and what that does is that feeds voltage through a diode into the VFO 24-7 so the VFO runs all the time and it really, that does a whole lot when you turn it on the VFO is stabilized and ready to go so anyhow I just wanted to tell you about that microphone I was really excited about it so that's it guys 73's and good DX